Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many developers encounter. Is deleting the tail of a vector through erase memory efficient? Specifically, when we use the command v erase sum iterator, are the implementations smart enough to avoid reallocations or byte copying, especially since we're just updating the size? Let's dive into this topic and uncover the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's explore whether deleting the tail of a vector using the erase function is memory efficient. When you call v erase on the last element, the implementation can indeed be optimized. Unlike erasing elements from the middle, which requires shifting elements, removing the last element can simply adjust the size. Most standard library implementations of vectors do not perform reallocations or byte copying when erasing the last element. They simply reduce the size of the vector. However, if you erase elements from the middle of the vector, the implementation must shift subsequent elements to fill the gap, which can be less efficient. In summary, erasing the tail of a vector is memory efficient, as it only involves updating the size without reallocating memory. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Deleting the tail of a vector using a race does not free up memory efficiently. The vector's capacity remains unchanged. Only the pointer to the end is updated. To actually reduce the memory used by the vector, you should call shrink to fit after erasing elements. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.